what's going on guys so i just want to start this video off by saying i appreciate you for watching this channel my name is kyle welcher basically in this video right here me and my lovely wife miss hunter brooke went down to a local section of the river fished us a little pot tournament didn't catch crap because i was hard-headed just to be point blank we had conditions that were not conducive what i was trying to do and i still tried to do it now that being said i hadn't been to that place in like three or four years had no idea what was going on i didn't know what the lake level had been like leading up to it or anything like that I was going there straight blind and it was flooded terrible conditions for that place in particular but hope y'all enjoy the video we still caught us a bass or two see y'all later Fish number one out of this lake in a long, long time. We're in the very back of a pocket now. Threw up beside some wood. It's real flooded, and there's some wood laying on some flooded grass and rocks. So threw up there. Caught a little. I mean, it's real fat, but it's probably a little male. So not bad. You know, I get. A, I've got a lot of questions on this spinning rod because I've been saying that it's like my favorite rod I built, and the reason it's my favorite rod I built is because I've always hated fishing with spinning rods. Like that's no secret. If you've been watching my videos for very long at all. You don't see very many of these things make an appearance unless it's seriously a tournament and it's probably got a wacky rig on it most of the time. But anyways, um, one of the main questions I get is how much leader I tie. So I like to have as much leader as possible, but you can see my leader notch right there and I have about this much slack out the tip. So that's about how much I like to have whenever I'm casting. So I like to have the leader knot just above my finger. As much leader as I can, but I don't want it to be in the spool. So that, whenever you put the knot in the spool, it gets tangled up a lot around the line that you reel up around the knot. So I don't like to have reel my knot into the spool, but I like to have it as long as possible and keep my knot about right there, maybe between here and here on my, whenever I'm casting. So this rod right here is the whole reason that I fell in love with spinning rods this year. So this is a seven foot medium light, extra fast point blank blank that I built as a spinning rod. So it's, it's a medium light and some people are, you know, they think, wouldn't you rather have a medium? This rod, point blank rods have so much power. They, I mean, really when you pick one up, it doesn't feel natural how much power it has. So this rod is a lot more like a medium, but it just has an extremely fast tip. And that helps me whenever I just want to barely move my wrist and really cast this bait under you know lay downs or whatever docks whatever i'm casting it under what i did with this rod is i used the kr concept guides and what these are they're a little bit smaller insert smaller opening so this one right here is a 20 millimeter then it goes to a 10 and a 5.5 and what that does is it controls your line without putting it in too much of a bind so it's still very high off the blank i mean very you know a long way off the blank to keep it in line with the spinning rod the way the line naturally comes off but it's a little bit smaller guide and it you know controls it so i'm very very excited with the kr concept i've used some other brand guides that have tried to manage line on spinning rods and i've never had one cast exactly like these i've got one with a 2010 5 it's a 2010 5.5 and i've got one with a 16 8 5.5 and i really can't tell much of a difference in one but the 16 8 5.5 is a little bit lighter so that's my spinning rod a lot of people have asked about it this is the shimano stratic 2500 hg i think this is uh called the fl or something like that i can't remember exactly what the model number is but this thing is so smooth i mean it is i'm in love with this real rod everything it, i mean and look at the way the wraps they just turned out look so great man so i'm very happy with this rod Another one from old spinning rod. Got to say, I'm a fan. I am a fan of this thing. That's a good one. That is a very, very good one for here. We need five like that though.
that little one, a little bitty one. small keeper. Not what we're looking for though. <clears throat> I did but he was he was so small I just let him get off. Right there. Got us one, a little school and fit. Boom came up busting right there and I threw it. Right about where you threw it. It is a keeper. We probably should still keep him, shouldn't we? I don't know. I can't say 100% it's a keeper. This resembles one very much so anyways. All right, so the fact of the matter is you're gonna have more tournament losses than wins. And not only did we lose in this one, we got our butt absolutely kicked. I think we might've caught three keepers the entire night i'm not 100 sure but it was absolutely terrible like i had some places that i had caught them in years ago that i thought would be perfect for that time of the year and obviously i was absolutely incorrect I, that just you know i felt like i was beating my head against the wall for three hours straight in that tournament never could get anything going couldn't get a bite every time i changed couldn't get a bite so i mean sometimes that's just going to happen especially in those short tournaments like that so Still though, hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for checking out this channel. If you have not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we are going to practice right now, pre-practice for our next Elite Series event tournament. So hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything coming up this year. I will see y'all in the next video.